Hello. Yeah, hi. This is Rose from Diabetes Supply Department. How are you? Well, I'm good, Rose. How are you? I'm pretty fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, the reason of my call is like, you know, uh, this time you are qualified for a new branded painless diabetic monitor at no cost of you. And you are a diabetic, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Say, is your full name Roseanne by chance? I knew a girl once. Her name was Roseanne Columns. Roseanne Columns? No, no, sir. That's not your name? Uh, yeah, I'm Rose. I'm oh. a Rosemary. Oh, Rosemary. Yeah, Rosemary Columns doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, what can we do here, Roseanne? Rosemary? Uh, say, this time we are providing a new branded painless diabetic monitor in which you can easily check your blood sugar level it has some new beneficial features and best part of it you do not need to pay any single penny out from your side because everything is covered by your health insurance okay okay well, that sounds fine okay thanks so much <laughs> i guess they're gonna send it over now Hello. This is Ashley calling you from road traffic accident. How have you been today? Oh, Crashly, it's so good to hear from you again. I'm okay. How are you? Good to hear that. Basically, you had a minor road traffic incident in past two years. Do you remember? Yeah, I was being chased by some henchmen. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, Gloria, was driving, uh, you know, with the professor in the back there. We went right off the road. The car got totaled. Accidentally okay, Alicia, how are you? We're reaching out to verify if you've been involved in a car accident within the past two years and the compensation for being injured is still pending. So you had an auto accident in the last two years. That's correct. It wasn't my fault and uh, the pending thing, too. We have a team of experienced attorneys who specialize in handling such cases, yeah. and they would be more than willing to assist you in obtaining the compensation you deserve. Please stay on the line for a brief moment, and I'll connect you with them right away. Yeah, I'm guessing they're real top-notch guys. Hello. Hello, this is Adrian. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, they're uh, uh, crazy, and how are you? Your okay. Yeah, oh, I'm okay. I got it working now, James. My camera battery was dead and I just had to get it plugged in again. So, can you start from the beginning? Yes, my name is James and I'm calling from Student Loan Support Services. Okay, Student Loan Support, got it. Yes, this one is regarding your federal student loans. Yeah. We received some updates over here that your student loans are being qualified for forgiveness. Okay. So, did you receive any email, any notification regarding that recently? I don't remember seeing an email about that. No. Did you send no one? Issues. Did, did you send one? No, no issues. No, no shoes? What? Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Stacy. The reason for my call is that the updated plan for Medicare has just been released. Do you have a minute to check what additional benefits you can qualify for? Uh, yeah, Spacey, I think I got some time to check what additional benefits I may right. qualify for. What Tell me here. about the benefits. To help you get additional Medicare benefits like dental, hearing, vision, prescription coverage, and food cards at absolutely no cost. Ooh. In order to do that, we need to confirm your eligibility. Yeah. Do you have Part A and Part B of Medicare? Part A all the time and Part B. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I get it. Yeah. But we are here to provide free information about the Open Enrollment 2024 and help you compare your benefits among 27 leading insurance companies. Okay. Our licensed agent is on the line, and I would strongly suggest you review your options with him. He's but already... before that, I would just like to confirm your age. Can I ask how old you are? Well, I'm 66, Spacey. Okay. 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 You do seem eligible for various added benefits, okay. including food cards. Okay. I just need to confirm one last thing. Okay. Do you make your own health care decisions? You know, it's funny that you'd ask this, and again, I'm sorry I keep telling this same joke, but yeah, I just talked to my old lady Trixie last week. She tells me I make all my own decisions. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, you do not qualify yes, I for do. the benefits I do, have. too. I, 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 am I sorry. totally do. I'm, I qualify. You totally misunderstood. I make my own... <sighs> Told that joke so many times. It's about, probably about time I got hung up on for that one, honestly. Yes? Wade Barnett speaking. Listen, Barnett. I think it's only fair to warn you to keep out of Professor Van Dorn's way. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Stanfield, for your warning. But Mr. Van Dorn is not in a position to hurt me. I'm quite capable of taking care of myself. Are you there? Where else would I be? Hi, this is Sarah. I'm calling because the updated plan for Medicare has been released, yeah. and it may give you some better access to things like dental, vision, vision hearing, and over-the-counter over benefits. benefits. Now, I believe, I believe you, you do, do have, have Medicare, Medicare Part A and B, B correct? Correct. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. I'm putting on the product to share the information with you. What? Good afternoon. This is Steven. How are you? Uh, good afternoon to you, Steven. Now, how are you? Hello. Hello. Oh. This is Alicia from Accidental Claim Support. How's your day going? I'm good, I guess. How are you? We're reaching out to verify if you've been involved in a car accident within the past two years and the compensation for being injured is still pending. So you had an auto accident in the last two years. Oh uh, yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. We have a team of experienced attorneys who specialize in handling such cases okay. and they would be more than willing to assist you in obtaining okay. the compensation you deserve. Please okay. stay on the line for a brief moment and I'll connect you with them right away. Okay, I handle some cases myself. Cases of beer. <laughs> Your call is very important to us. Please, Please stand in the line, line and be transferred to the next available agent. agent. Thank you so much for getting things written for accident claim helpline. How are you? I'm I'm good. Uh, you're, you're coming through kind of squeaky there. Uh, kind of. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, hi sir, good afternoon. My name is Jason. How are you doing today? I'm good, Jason. How are you? Good, you know that. I am good, sir. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah? I would say the short call uh, is about the affordable connectivity program. As you can get electronic devices like tablets, cell phones, and free SIM cards as well. So, sir, don't worry, you don't have to pay a single penny out of your pocket. Sir, do you have any kind of government facilities like Medicaid? food stamps, section 8, supplement security income or veteran pension right now. Hello? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Oh, there you are. Hello, I can hear you fine now. It was all distorted there for a little while. Do you have government facilities like Medicaid, food stamps? What? Who's calling? What's this all about? Sir, the short call is about the affordable connectivity program. Oh. As you can get electronic devices like tablet, cell phone, and free SIM card is as well. A crablet? So do you have any kind of government assistance like Medicaid? A government? Did you say? Did you say I get a crablet? Uh, yeah, I got a tablet. I can give you a tablet free of course. Uh, how much so is do it? Do you have any kind of? How much is it? You have. Uh, you have you have government facilities like Medicaid. Go Menst. I think we have Go Menstes, but I don't know which ones they are. But yeah. Okay. 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 
Hey, what was your uh, you what was your name? Me. What you was your name, Tony? I didn't I didn't get your name. Uh, I can act to my senior supervisor on the floor, David Gardy, okay? Well, see, well, yeah, but what's your name, Tony? You can still I, connect I, me to the yeah, senior well, super I mean, weasel, but what was your name and what's yeah, the name yeah, of the company that you work for? <laughs> you didn't connect me to the senior super weasel at all. Hello? 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 Hi, thank you so much, Al Train. My name is Kelwin. How are you doing today? Uh, Kelwin, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Well, this call is about your home service, and I'm speaking to the homeowner, right? Uh, yeah, what home service are you talking about there, homie? Oh, well, sir, today your house has been selected to receive a free pricing estimate for your home improvement. So, what are the most important things do you like to improve in your house? Like your windows, roof, kitchen, bathroom, heating, cooling system, and plumbing. Well, my general disposition could use some improvement. Uh, I guess there's a little bit of work to do on the roof, and uh, the kitchen's kind yeah. of a mess. Yeah, sure. We're gonna surely help you. Some surprising estimate about your roof and your kitchen remodeling. So well, you are residing in Wisconsin, right? Yeah, what company did you say you're working for, Kelvin? Yeah, I'm calling you from Remodeling Group, and we are working different states and different companies. Remodeling so Group? So your zip code is... Yeah, okay. Remodeling Group, and your, and your zip code is 53713, right? Well, that's my old zip code. That My ex-wife still lives there, but I'm down in Chicago now. Oh, what's your zip code for? My new zip code is six zero six zero four. Uh, where are you guys loaded? Oh. Uh, where are you guys located, Kelwin? Um, I've never heard of Remodeling Group before. Yeah, actually, sir, uh, I'm working different states like uh, Georgia, New York, and Wisconsin. So. Oh, not Illinois though, because I'm in Illinois. Yeah, Illinois, definitely. Well, sure. you, d you didn't say yeah, Illinois. You said Georgia and Wisconsin and other stuff, but you didn't say. Where's the Where's the headquarters yeah, of your location? No. I mean, where's the headquarters of your company uh, located? Where are you Where are you from, man? Uh, sir, uh, I'm not company, sir. I'm calling you from the modeling group. Okay, we yeah, are working different companies. Yeah, you said you're calling me from Remodeling Group. I'm just wondering where the, the company is located. You know, where are you from? Are you in France or oh, the south? Oh, Georgia. Yeah. Oh, you're no, in... Oh, no, Georgia. Oh, right on. Okay there, Kelwin. Uh, so tell me all about this thing then there. Yeah, so you need uh, some kitchen... Kelwin? Yeah. You broke up for just a second there. You said the kitchen was kind of the big thing. The kitchen really is in, in uh, need of some work. Uh, it was painted by yeah, my yeah. mother, and I tell you what, you can tell she hated me because, like, it's, it like it's, looks like it was designed by the criminally insane. So I could use some help in the kitchen. Kelwin. Hello, Stanfield. Stanfield. Hello. Stanfield murdered him. You'll likely send the police. We've got to get him out of here quick. Stanfield might come himself. No, there's no chance. He's too cagey. I'm going to get to your father's office right away. Van Dorn's there at prison. What if they have the professor? They have the destroying ray. You'll be killed. But if they have the destroyer, I have its antidote in the vanishing ray. Lifeline, how are you doing today? Uh, Pipefine, uh, John, I'm good. How are you? Lifeline, sir. Well, uh, life, life's flying? Lifeline. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is, I guess, but uh, what, what can I do for you? I am calling you to inform that you may be eligible to get a free smartphone and unlimited internet because they will be completely funded by the federal government. Government? Okay, How, what do we have to do? So, could you please confirm that you are any kind of government assistance program, Go like food stamp, huh? Medicaid, low income homes? Government assistance from Life, Life, Lifeline? 
Could you please confirm that you are any kind of government assistance program like food stamp, Medicaid, low-income home? Uh, I confirm. Confirm. Food stamp, Medicaid, low-income home. Well, I think it's the stamp one. Food stamp. I think so. Are you eligible? I think so. Just to deliver that. Thank you. You are eligible. Okay. What do we have to do to now? Just to deliver that free smartphone, please confirm me your physical address. Okay. It's uh, 230 South Dearborn Street in Chicago, Illinois. Thank you. What is your first name and last name? Well, my first name is Fritz. Hello? And last name? My last name is Like a Glove. I thought maybe you were gone or something. Thank you, sir. What is your date of birth? It's April 1st, 1957. What did you say your name was Thank again you, there, sir. Bob? Thank you, sir. Just to confirm that you qualify for the lifeline benefits, please confirm the last four digits of your SSN. The pipeline? Listen, pipeline, buddy. You don't ever give anybody your social security number. That's crazy. You a scammer. Last, last four digits. Only, last four digits, sir. Last, only, only last four digits. Oh, only, only scammers ask you for your uh, any part of your okay. social security number. Look it sir, up on the ftc.gov website. Google. What? Sir, you search on Google ACP Lifeline Program. You search on Google ftc.gov. FTC.com. Okay, I'm yeah. searching. Yeah, it's the Federal Trade Commission .gov, and if you search on there, it'll tell you that uh, anyone that calls asking for your social security number, it's fraud. You know, you're a scammer. Not, Have you ever thought about getting mean, a different job where you're not a scammer? Yes, you wish. You. What does that mean? By the way, what? By the way is your... Uh, have a nice day. Back you, up, bye -bye. Okay. you have a nice day too. Hello, this is John here from your TV and internet service. How are you doing today? I'm good, John here. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well, sir. Yeah. The reason of this call is that we are running a promotion yeah. in which we are giving some discounts on your TV, internet, and telephone bills. Okay. Do you remember how much your last bill, your last month bill, sir? My last month bill for uh, the uh, telephone and uh, the internet um, and all that stuff was 180 bucks, I think. It's $180, yeah, yeah, wait, that's not for the telephone, though. That's just for cable and then the connectivity thing for the crablet to run right. I'm asking you about your TV bill, sir, your TV cable bill. TV cable bill, 180 bucks. All right, sir, and how many TVs do you have? Well, I have three TVs, but one of them is really small, so I don't know if it counts. All right, sir, you are getting a discount of $30 every month, and this discount will not only for one or two months, but for the upcoming 24 months, like two years, Ooh. because you are the senior citizen. Okay. And you are not getting any assistance from this state. And not... you always pay your bill on time. That's why we are giving you some discount on oh. your bill. Okay. Right. Okay. Also, can you please tell me your first name? Well, my first name is Fritz. All right, sir, and what is your zip code? 60604. It's 60604, right? Yeah, that's, that's the new zip. I've been living down here in Chicago, Illinois, for about uh, two years now. It's all right, sir, not a problem, sir. Yeah. Uh, can you please go and grab any last paper bill copy in your hand? Any what? Any billing copy, any bill copy. Copy? For last month. Yeah. Bling copy? No, no, sir. I am asking you about your TV bill copy. Bling copy? Sir, uh, by any chance are you watching TV right now? No. 
Uh, no, I was watching Matlock a little while ago, but that's over now, so I'm working down in the studio. It's all right, sir, not a problem. Yeah. Your discount procedure is almost complete. I'm oh, just good. I'm just this to my senior supervisor, and he will further assist you and give you a discount right now on this call. Just stay here. Your patience will be highly appreciated. Right, sir? Uh, uh, all right. Okay, there. Thanks, Carrot Sauce. I appreciate it. All right, just stay here. Transferring me to the senior super weasel. No hold music. Is there any hold music? I like it when there's hold music. Thanks for holding the line. This is have you? Your call has been processed. How are you doing today? Well, I'm good, have you? How are you? I'm doing perfect. So far, so good. Okay, so far, so good, so what? That's what I always say. That's great. Good. I can see you just had a conversation with one of your associates and he put some notes here that you are perfectly eligible about thirty dollars discount, thirty dollars off in your monthly bill. Okay. That would be for two years. Okay. Without any changing and without any tiny kind of contact. Okay. Yeah, that's what the last guy said. He said I got a discount for two years. Right. Uh, you, I just want to make sure, do you happen to have a paper bill with you right now, the so, copy of the bill, sir? No, I don't have a copy of the bill. He was asking me about a blink OP or something. What are you asking to you? Uh, he said something about a blink OP, uh, but I didn't, but I don't, and then he transferred me to you. What are we looking for? Do you, can you tell me, do you, are you, do you have any authorization to make your own decision about your TV bill? Well, of course I do. I get to change the channel, too, whenever I want. What type of channel are you getting right now? I don't know. A whole bunch of them. I have ca it's cable. I have cable. Right. So, how, how do you pay the bill every month? Uh, well, I usually use the, that little card that you get from the bank or I write a check or something. Alright, this month, like, instead of $80, $180, you only pay the $150. Okay. That would be through check or money order, okay? Yeah. And I just want to let you know this is a discounted bill, which you only will send the check to the discount department the first time. Okay. Then the discount department is going to approve the discount for upcoming 24 months. Okay. Without any changing and without any signing kind of code. Okay. So I just want to make sure that, uh, how would you like to pay the discounted bill, the April? Uh, April the April, the April discounted bill, I don't know, I, I can either write a check or you, I can use the card. Whatever you want to use it, sir. Oh, you. you know what? How would you like to pay? Trixie's got the checkbook, and she's off to the casino right now. If you want a check, you'll have to wait. Till, Trixie will be back probably by Friday. Um, Damn, it's Trixie at the casino. I need some money. To listen to the message again, press 1. But otherwise, we can use the card. Whatever you like. If you have a card, could you please wrap your devil card in your credit card in your hand? Yeah. Let you know yeah, I can get it. Hey, what did you say your name was? Like heavy? Was it heavier? Yeah. Heavier. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Heavier. I got my driver's license here and uh, my Sloopy's rewards. Okay. What? Are, what am I like? Oh, the card. I got it. I got the card. Okay. Will you read back to me the card number, please? It's a Weeza. Okay. Do you take Weeza? What do you say? Do you take Weeza? Yeah, sir. Okay, because I, I, I only have a Weeza. Which number do you want? You will see the car number, the 16 digit car number. Yeah, I, got, I can see. The, yeah, it's out in the front. All right. Could you please read that to me, please? It's 4123. Okay. A forty-five sixty-seven. Forty-one twenty-three. No. Forty-five sixty-seven. Yeah. Eight nine one zero. Eight nine one zero. No. What's the last one? One 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 two. One 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 two. That's right. 
Can you just write back to me once more, please? Uh, did you write it down? Because it's kind of industry standard. If, I, if I've read it to you once and you wrote it down, you're supposed to read it back to me. And that way we know. We don't read it back to you because we are not able to write in front of me. You didn't write it down? You didn't write it down? You didn't write it down? To be honest, I didn't read it down. So the call is being recording. I'm not able to write any information over the call. The court, the call is, the call is being recorded. Yeah. I knew that already. Sometimes I fuck with the customers like you. No, you don't. Sometimes I put people like you up on YouTube. What do you think about that, Smarty? Sometimes I fuck with the customers, he says. <laughs>